Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Shane's Craft Beer Review. Wait a second. I'm not a Calgary Flames fan. It's Bar Towel. This is Winnipeg Jets. This is the This is the Terry Isle Basement Pub. This is this is one flight down. Welcome to One Flight Down, and today we're gonna look at a beer that I received earlier today from Shane's Craft Beer Review. All right, today's a good day. Today was a really good day for me. It got off to a great start. Uh, it's first of all, it's a day off. It's a holiday Monday. Um, t- I record, I'm recording this uh, on in what Manitoba we call Louis Riel Day. I think the rest of Canada calls it Family Day. It's the February long weekend. I didn't even know there was mail service today with it being a holiday, and I looked out. The, the window this morning and I, I saw someone walking up to my door with a with a parcel and I put the box down and walked away I went outside and I got it and it was from Shane's Craft Beer Review I got this awesome shirt that I'm wearing right now uh, I'm gonna add it to my collection of um, beer review t-shirts which so far are just t-shirts of my own show uh, but this is added to the collection, and he also sent me a bunch of beers. Uh, a few of them, I'm really excited. I got a couple here from uh, the Counterpoint or Counterpart Brewing Company uh, in Niagara Falls. Uh, I actually went to this brewery a few months ago, and I really, really liked it. I also shot a video there uh, that had some weird audio issues, and I couldn't really use it. So I'm glad that uh, I got a couple beers from them. Uh, this one's a Dream On Double IPA. And I got another one as a Coffee Maple Roller Oatmeal Stout. Yeah, looking forward to those. I also got, oh, this one's also Counterpart. Okay, this is a, a Vic Secret Flow Pale Ale. Uh, I also got a German Pilsner uh, from the Trestle Brewing Company. Uh, never heard of them. Uh, where are they out of? I'm sure somewhere in Ontario as well. Um, Perry Sound area. And the beer we're going to do today, I just could not, I could not resist this. I can't, I can't wait any longer uh, to try this out. I had to put it in the fridge for a bit. That was as long as I wanted to wait to try this. From the Flying Monkeys Brewing Company, Fluffity Fluff Fluff. Fluffity Fluff Fluff Deepa. Um, it is a Cotton Candy Double IPA. Uh... 8.1% alcohol for a cotton candy double IPA. This just sounds wild. Uh, I have had beers from uh, Flying Monkeys uh, many times. Um, we regularly get their stuff here in Winnipeg, but I have not seen Fluffity Fluff Fluff here before. Because if I saw Fluffity Fluff Fluff, I would have bought Fluffity Fluff Fluff. But no Fluffity Fluff Fluff until today. Um... <laughs> And I gotta say, it's kind of weird for me to be this excited about it because I don't even really like cotton candy that much. Like to me, cotton candy is uh, it, it's just that it's just that like texture, right? It's that 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 it's like putting cloth in your mouth or something. Just a weird texture thing uh, keeps me from from enjoying cotton candy. But I still want to see what it tastes like in beer form. Maybe I'll like it more in beer form. Uh, let's see what else it says on the can before we get moving here. Uh, is this Deepa an alliterative, expletive, or a giggle of goodness? Such sweet abominations can be confusing. Outrageous with real cotton candy crystals and pinked with perverse pails of strawberry puree. The bright fruit notes of mosaic cryo hops with cashmere enigma and brew one hops bring uh, defiant mischief to this impish, flossy fun. We've warned you before. Fluffy can be fierce. All right, this sounds absolutely insane, and I can't wait to try it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I'm expecting some some fluffy pink flakes in here or something from that description. Uh, 
All right, let's look at that. Very active looking beer. Uh, kind of a light tan color, I guess. I was expecting more of a pinkish hue from what it was saying. I don't really see any kind of like... Did, I'm sure it said something here. Didn't I just read something about pink flakes or something? Um, it's got real cotton candy crystals pinked with perverse pails of strawberry. So, uh, yeah, I was expecting it to kind of have like a... To look a little more like cotton candy. I mean, I'm not really complaining. It's just that's what I was expecting. Um, the the head on this is 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 quite fluffy looking. Uh, let's see what it's like on the nose. I'm not getting anything from from far away. It's definite sweetness. Um, yeah, I don't. It doesn't smell like walking around an amusement park or anything like that. That was kind of what I was expecting. But I guess then that's cotton candy mixed in with like corn dogs and popcorn and. I don't want a beer that tastes like candy, cotton candy, corn dogs, and popcorn. Uh, even I have my limits. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's, there is a real, like, candy sweetness. The, the more I get on there. Um, all right. Well, let's let's dig in. Yeah, okay, okay, wow. Um, yeah, okay, so immediately, like a strawberry uh, a flavor up front. But like a candied strawberry flavor, not, not like real strawberries. Um, but on the finish, especially in that, that last sip, uh, it does feel like I've just eaten candy. Like there's just, yeah, I mean, it's not... not actually rotting my teeth but <laughs> I kind of feel like it could it's got a nice smooth creamy mouthfeel that I like um yeah there's I don't know what it is there, yeah there is so I talked about the texture of cotton candy that I don't like um and it kind of feels like I not like it feels like that that sort of how do you describe it? I always like it to like cloth or something, but it's it's like hairs or something. Like when it goes in my mouth, I never like the cotton candy, but like once it's gone, it's fine. And that this really feels like I just had some like cotton candy melt in my mouth. Yeah, I mean it nails the the taste. I think for sure. I mean it's been a long, long time uh, since I've tasted cotton candy. Um, but it definitely tastes like candy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's got that, that the mouthfeel on the finish, especially has, um, that, that, that feeling like I just had some cotton candy in my mouth. It's really, this is a weird, weird beer. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's a weird beer, but I mean, it's fluffity fluff fluff. How can it not be a weird beer? Um, yeah, uh, would I get it again? Maybe. I don't know. It's not it's not uh it's something I like actively seek out on a regular basis. Um but if you know, if I was out somewhere and I saw that it was on tap and I could do it in a flight or something, I, I would probably do that. Uh I I would buy a can just to share with someone and see their reaction on it. That I would do. Um but yeah, it's not something I would buy on a regular basis. But I, would anyone buy fluffy fluff fluff on a regular basis? Like, do you want cotton candy beer, uh, something in your life on a regular basis? Probably not. Um, but it's it's pretty fun, and it does it does nail uh, what it's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> That is one strange beer. All right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Shane, for sending that to me. And, uh, yeah, I'll have some more beers coming up uh, in the next few weeks, a few more videos featuring some of the beers that Shane sent, uh, as well as a bunch of other content that I already had lined up. Whatever I originally had planned for today will be pushed back a bit, but I just I couldn't wait any longer. I had to do fluffity fluff fluff. As, as quickly as possible. All right, my friends, uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, we'll see you all again real soon. Cheers. I'm sick and I'm tired and I need to go home.